In this video, I will show you how you can easily wrap text around an image or vector graphic in InDesign. I'll demonstrate this with a PNG, a JPEG, and an SVG. So let's just jump right in and grab our PNG, and I'll drag this over to my text. So in my opinion, the PNG is the best type of file you can work with when wrapping text because of your alpha channel, which I will cover a little bit later. So the different types of text wraps we have, and if you don't see this menu, you can also find this under your properties and text wrap, or you can also go up to window and select text wrap. So let's select our object, and obviously the default is no wrap. We also have wrap around the bounding box, and then you can increase the sides, or you can manually unlink this and then just change the sides on your own. I'll just link that and make it zero for now. And then we have the object shape, which I will cover last. And then we also have the jump object, so the text doesn't go on the sides, it just jumps right below our object. And then we also have the jump to next column, so the text will jump over to the next column. Mine didn't do that because my text boxes are not threaded. Let's undo that and then bring my object down to the bottom here. So let's select our subject or our object shape. Under the type where it says same as clipping, let's change that to... You can either choose select subject. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. As you see, it selects only some of my object. You can try and increase the offset, but that's not really having the effect I want. So instead of selecting the subject, you can also try selecting Detect Edges. If I increase the offset, that may do something, may not. In my case, it's not doing exactly what I want. So I want to select Alpha Channel. And it selects my entire object. So now I can increase my offset and then it actually has the kind of effect that I want. If you don't want the random text in between your object, you can grab your text tool and you can just select your text and then hit enter to bring that text down. But there is a better way to do this without breaking your text, which I will show you near the end. So that is the PNG. Let's move on to our JPEG. So let's just drag our JPEG out and select our object shape. Under our type, you'll see that alpha channel is grayed out. So we can try and select our subject and increase the offset. Again, it only selects some weird sections of my subject, so let's try to detect edges. In my case, that did a much better job. And now moving on to our vector graphic, the SVG. Let's drag that out. And let's go back to our object shape. Under our type, again, the alpha channel is grayed out. Let's try select our subject again. It did a bit of a better job, but it did not select all of our subject. So let's go to Detect Edges and increase our offset. So now instead of hitting Enter to bring our text down, what you can do is select your object and select your Direct Selection tool. And let's zoom in. And now you can actually select these anchor points. And then just drag that over where your text is and then that text just jumps down to the next line. And let's do the same for this random bit of text here. Select our anchor points, and then just bring that down where that text is, which makes our text jump down below. And now one more thing that you can do to maybe format your text to make it look a bit better is select our text and check hyphenate if this is unchecked. And that is how you can easily wrap text around an image or vector graphic in InDesign. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.